In an exam, you may be asked to identify the inputs, processes, and outputs in a given scenario. This refers to data and not devices like keyboards for input or monitors for output. Inputs are data entered into a system. This can be manually entered by a human, such as typing on a keyboard, automatic, such as a temperature sensor. Processes are the actions taken by a computer, often using the input data, for example, validating the data has been entered correctly or performing calculations. Outputs are information provided to the user after processing, for example, displaying the result of a calculation. Here is an example scenario to consider the inputs, processes, and outputs of. A university library checks books out using a computer system. Students can loan a book for two weeks at a time. Potential inputs include the student ID, the book ID, and the date of the loan. Processes in this scenario could be checking if a book is available, recording the loan in the system, updating the book's availability, and calculating the due date for it to be returned. And outputs include a confirmation message, the updated book status, and a due date for the book's return. Here is another scenario. Customers can book a hotel room online. They can book single or double rooms and have 10 days to cancel a booking. If you want to have a think, you can pause the video now before I put up the inputs, processes, and outputs that I thought of. Inputs include the customer's name, check-in, check-out dates, and room type. Processes, I've got checking room availability and calculating the total cost. And for outputs, I've got things like booking confirmation, receipt with details.